So the ELAT is, it stands for English Language Admissions Test, um, which is similar to the EIL placement test that international students take when they get here on campus. The challenge we have with that test is that students fly all day to get here and they barely have enough time to sleep and then they're asked to take four tests all in one day. And sometimes they don't do very well because they're tired, they're trying to look for a room, they're trying to find a job. And another challenge is we do that two days before school. So until we get the results back, we don't know how many classes we need, how many teachers we need. And <clears throat> all those things have contributed to us creating the ELAP. Now, a lot of students get an English proficiency requirement in their countries before they get here. There's the TOEFL they can take and the IELTS. Um, they're both very expensive exams. And so we decided to create an in-house exam, which a lot of universities are going towards now, just to help out the international students. So the ELAT is free, and we do that as part now of the application process. So instead of students, they used to take the SLEP test before and the Michigan test, but both of those tests did not test all four skill areas. So students came sometimes with a lower level than what they thought they had. So it's a combination of all those things that have brought us together to create the English language admissions test. It's been done by our faculty in our department who, um, our main faculty is um, Brother Brent Green, who is our Dean, and he has a PhD in second language assessment. So there's been a lot of rigor put through it and we've had some testing of it. And yeah, that's how we came about with the ELAT.